Hey guys, we're This Century. I'm Joel. Alex. Ryan. Sean. And we want you to close your eyes because we're about to take you on an amoeba adventure. I'm here with the beautiful St. Vincent. She's a, she's a beauty. And uh, this, this record's called Al uh, Actor. Musically speaking, it's nothing that, I've be able, that I'd be able to compare it to. And uh, I think her voice is amazing. And the whole record, just like from top to bottom, is very just listenable. Like saxophone. A lot is there of saxophone on there. A lot of uh, like distorted saxophone. Perhaps, a lot of sax. And some uh, just some really cool sounds that I haven't heard from other bands or artists that I thought were. She can shred. Super unique. She can shred on guitar. I know that. I've watched her live before. And sh her hair is so curly. It's like, how do you do that? I uh, chose a pretty new record called An Awesome Wave by Alt-J. This band in particular, when I first heard them, it was just so different and so refreshing that it just kind of created a bunch of new inspiration, I guess. And it's just, it's pretty rare when you find a band like this. It's like yeah. when like the Mars Volta first came out or St. Vincent. I've never actually, I think that that's, this record in particular, I've never heard anything previous to it. It kind of combines like reggae and Nine Inch Nails. Yeah, and it's just like, it's kind of nuts. It's like a crazy trip through the whole record. And then also and really beautiful. controversial topics yeah. too. I chose um, a record called Bleed American by Jimmy World, mostly because they're from Arizona, which is where we're from. Mesa, Arizona is where I grew up, and I remember when this first came out, um, thinking, wow, this is a band that's from uh, Mesa, Arizona, which was I was very, very proud of the fact that there was a band that was breaking, uh, making it big, um, that was from Arizona. And I remember thinking, wow, I, can, I could actually do this um, and be in a band. I chose uh, a record called H2O. This is Daryl Hall, and this is John Oates over here. And if you're wondering why they're so sweaty, it's because they're busting out amazing pop hits from the 80s. Oh, you should show um, them the, uh, the, the other side. The other side is Skin, very close up. Uh, the first song I ever heard on this record was a song called Man Eater, and it literally changed my whole perspective on pop music. It was, it's electronic, and it's simple, and catchy, and he sounds like an R&B master, and look at that face. I mean, it's almost undeniable at this point. You can clearly tell that he really means business when he's writing these songs.